Hey everybody, welcome to TXGameHunters.com. Right now we're out here at the range. We're out at an awesome range called Best of the West out here. Uh, just, just northwest of Austin, Texas out here in Liberty Hill. Uh, and this range has from 25 yards up to 1,000 yards. So we got the ATN Excite 2 5x20 out here. We're going to be testing long range of the uh, ballistic calculator. See how well it does on our DPMS Oracle 308. On the 308. Stay tuned, and uh, we should have some good stuff for you. All right, so first we're gonna shoot a couple at 100, make sure we're still dead on. I'll go ahead and record on the scope and splice it in so you guys can see what we're looking at. Well, we're good at 100, so let's move over to 250 and see if we can start hitting some steel. All right, so welcome back, everybody. If you see right here, the reason why I'm showing you this is that this is the round we're using. We're using the Hornady American Whitetail uh, in the 308 round, 150 grain. We've looked up their ballistic information, which we got the, the ballistic coefficient G1, which is the .338. It has the sectional density, uh, everything that we need to put in the rifle scope to get an accurate ballistic calculation on the ATN rifle scope. So I'm going to go ahead and put that information in, and I'll be right back. some metal.
On an elk, it's a dead shot anyway, so. Awesome, but crazy. So, uh... well, up to 500, we're we're dead on, as accurate as I can be. A couple of them, you could tell right when I pulled the trigger, I slightly pulled it. This is actually my first time shooting 500 yards. Mostly, I'm like 200 yards and in. As you saw in the video before. 200 we smoked it without the ballistic calculator uh, and with the ballistic calculator but when I moved this 308 only had about a six inch drop at 250 yards from being zeroed in at hundred uh, at 250 yards at 500 yards it was a 60 inch drop uh, according to the ballistic calculator and I was hitting the steel almost every shot a few of them I pulled left or right and uh, but the but the the distance the height was good but the windage was off just a little bit then again I have the windage set to zero on here uh, just to just to see just to see if what was me what was the wind and uh, it's about a seven mile an hour crosswind so that does make up for about a couple inches easily all in all, very impressed with the uh, ballistic calculator. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know. But the main reason we're doing this, in a couple weeks, we're going to be out in West Test Texas hunting free-range elk uh, with some potential 200 to 400 yard shots. So we wanted to make sure we're confident to make an ethical shot while we're out there. And with this at and X site, it takes pretty much of all my guesswork out of it. So as long as I can stay steady, it's going to go to the ground. So thank you guys for joining me. Until next time, I'm Joseph Truesdale. This is TXGameHunters.com.